During the monsoon season, landscape of Salala and its surroundings is covered with lush green vegetation, inviting the locals and tourists to descend upon its wadis and beaches. Salala is located in Oman's southernmost governorate of Tofar. This massive region comprises one third of Oman's landmass. Dofar is home to distinct natural diversity where coasts blend with mountains and the desert in surreal harmony. The mountains, rising to a height of 1500 meters, descend upon a flat plain that embraces sandy beaches stretching hundreds of kilometers. While most of Oman bakes in plus 40 degrees centigrade heat, Salala and its surrounding regions bask in subtropical glory with temperatures never rising more than 28 degrees Celsius. After visiting points of interest in the relatively small city, one can visit the fog-covered mountains, spectacular beaches, or misty wadis which are within easy driving distance from Salala. Wadi Darbat is a natural park which is covered with lush green vegetation during Kharif season. With a beautiful lake, occasional waterfalls and mountains obscured with fog, the valley's wonderful and enchanting views make you believe that you are in some subtropical paradise like Thailand, Malaysia or Tanzania. On your way to Wadi Darbat, you will encounter an extraordinary experience which defies the laws of physics. On a 200 meter stretch of road, situated 60 kilometers east of Salala near the Taka and Mirbat road, is an anti-gravity spot where vehicles move in upward direction when parked in neutral instead of coming downwards. Try it a few times and you will come up with the same result over and over. But just be careful at that spot as cars may be coming from both directions. Before you proceed to Wadi Darbat, make sure you enjoy the scenic views around the anti-gravity spot where cattle grazes in low-lying valleys while the mountains are covered in monsoon clouds coming all the way from India. The way to Wadi Darbat during Kharif season is a combination of mist, mud and majestic mountains. Shortly before arriving at the Wadi is a natural arch up to your right in the mountain. The hole in the mountain offers superb views over the surrounding valley as well as a collection of several small caves and can be reached with a short hike. The Wadi welcomes you with scenic views of the lake, waterfalls, mountains and lush green vegetation. Besides being a boating, fishing and canoeing destination, the Wadi is home to some unique birds and insect species. While Salala is surrounded by beautiful valleys that turn lush green in monsoon, it also has some of the most spectacular beaches to offer. One of them is Mohsel which is located around 50 kilometers west of the city. The 4 kilometer long sandy beach is backed by sculpted cliffs and blowholes formed in limestone rocks which spurt water to a height of 30 meters or more. The beach has excellent tourist facilities including tents, restaurants and some rides for kids and young children. Once done with soaking the majestic views of Mohsel Beach and cliffs nearby, it is high time to rev up your experience, provided you have time and appetite for more spectacular scenery. Continue from Mohsel towards west on Sarfet Road which connects Oman with Yemen. The road is an impressive feat of engineering, undoubtedly a treat for motoring enthusiasts as it zigzags to the top of the cliff where the views in all directions are simply stunning. In what can be described as one of the wildest wadis in Arabian Peninsula, the mountains are covered with clouds and one can literally pass through them. To tell you in few words, it is a cloud nine experience.
While in Salala, another must-see place is the town of Mirba, which is 70 kilometers east of the city. It is undoubtedly one of Dofar's most interesting towns, with a lot of historical significance. Nearby are several dilapidated Yemeni-style mud brick houses which have been battered by elements and changing course of history. Mirba, a glorious port town several centuries ago, known in the Orient for the breeding and exporting of horses and frankincense, presents a shadow of its former self. A few kilometers away is the majestic Old Harbour, a picture-perfect little sandy cove dotted with dows and enclosed by a low rocky headland at the far end. Traders from as far as Sohar and Masqat flock to the market and whisk the catch in the auction. In the harbour are some seafood restaurants which offer fresh barbecue food to the port visitors. The place bustles with activity by fishermen who catch tons of sharks, tuna, whales, lobsters and other sea creatures and ferry it to the port to sell their produce for a good price. An annual Kharif festival is held in Salala to celebrate monsoon and Dofar's rich culture and heritage. This year's season attracted more than 400,000 tourists not only from Oman but also from the GCC states and all over the world.